Hey, what up, everyone? Brian Schill, Determined Dad here. Uh, so, you know, I was trying to come up with a topic for today's video, and there's really just kind of like a number of thoughts just sort of swirling in my head, right? So I'm just going to kind of talk, and then we'll see what just comes out, <laughs> you know, what just kind of pops out here at the end. So hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I definitely did. Uh, filled with a lot of grind, but I got a lot accomplished, and so it was it was awesome. It was fantastic. So, so... I want to talk a little bit about wasting time first, right? You know, and obviously not wasting time being the being the key takeaway from that. You know, so I was watching um, like there's this YouTube video that uh, has this YouTube video where it's basically it's like I think it's like Machine Gun Kelly's most recent album, but it's basically all like a short film pretty much. And so it's like, it's like his songs and then the, uh, and then like, and then like a little bit of storyline in between and stuff and super, super catchy music, man. Like I was, I was actually really surprised. Uh, and I kind of hated myself a little bit for enjoying how the music sounds, but I've always been into like, you know, punk rock alternative, whatever. So the music sounded pretty good, but you know, the, the analytical side of me was like listening to the lyrics, obviously, and then watching the storyline that was taking place in the movie. And I was just like, oh, my God, <laughs> you know, like it. Um, OK, so basically it it shows kids being like the most unproductive, sad, depressed, um, angry like, like, it's like, it's like the most just sad, angry existence that you could like ever, you could ever imagine for like the kids in this movie, right? Like they're like, they're like at this high school, they look, they look like they're all from affluent families. Like their parents have money. So probably like middle class or whatever. They're all dressed in ways where you can't really tell who's a dude and who's a chick, you know, like if you watch, you know, go, go like dabble in it just for a little bit and then, and then get out, you know, <laughs> but I think it's called, I think it's called, uh, like downfall high or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. It's like, you have all these kids there. You can't tell if they dress up as dudes or as chicks. And, um, like there's no parents around at all. And then throughout the entire time, no one's built or produced anything. And then this kid goes to like a mental institution at the end of the movie. Um, and then the entire time, right? Like, Machine Gun Kelly's music's playing and it, and it is catchy music. Like, like the younger side of me, that's, that's like been into that kind of music since I was like 11 <laughs> and, you know, like listen to the tones and like the beats and stuff. And like, even the way he throws his voice and I'm just like, yeah, you know, like crushing it. <laughs> but then like you listen to the words and you're like, oh, like, <laughs> like this, you know, like, um, I think there's one song where it's like, it's like, I'm still young, wasting my youth. I'll grow up next summer. I'm still on those drugs. I quit. I kept my dealer's number. And then he repeats it again, right? Like still young, wasting my youth. I'll grow up next summer. Uh, I'm still on that girl. I quit. I should have lost her number. Um, and a lot of the songs were like, just like that, where it's basically, it's like, Hey, I'm young. I have all this time to waste. Or I have all the time in the world. Um, I'm just on drugs. Like, like no one is monitoring what I'm doing. My parents aren't around. And, um, and this thing has like, this thing has like 30 million views or something like that. Like it's, it's got, it's got like a lot of, it's got like a fair number of views on it, you know? And so then I was kind of like thinking about that, you know, I watch it and again, like it's super catchy music, but like you have to, you have to really be discerning when you listen to it because music is like, one of the most powerful tools in existence as far as like, like controlling people, you know, uh, you can get like these really subtle narratives, like these really subtle storylines or thoughts, and you just kind of sprinkle it in music and people will just take it in, you know, because your, your brain gets to a certain state of mind when you're listening to music where it's like, it's almost like your mental guard lowers, right? You become more accepting of what's going on around you because you're, you're like vibing with this music, right? So, so, yeah, you know, like, so it's like, so I'll, you know, I'll still listen to that album because it's catchy, but it's like, I don't, I don't take the words seriously. You know what I mean? 
I'll just be like, okay, yeah, these words are kind of trash, but, you know, the beats are good. So, you know, whatever, right? And so, so I was kind of thinking about that, like that portrayal of like kids in America, right? And, and then I thought, I was like, well, you know, it's actually not that much different from most of my life being alive. You know, like if you look at, um, like you go even back to like high school musical when I was, I mean, I don't even know. I was younger, middle school, elementary school, whenever, whenever that came out from Disney. And, uh, you know, and you look at that too and you have all these like, you know, these young, like teenagers and no one's building anything actually like at all, you know, like it's, it's all this time. There's like drama, right. And okay. There's like some music and dancing. But then you look at that and you're like, okay, like if that's what the culture is telling every single American youth to do with their time, right? To do with their time in their life for like those four to six to eight years or whatever um, that you're in, like middle school, high school, college, whatever. It's like, that's what, that's what the culture is telling you to do at that time, which is to build nothing, to just have a ton of drama, to like ignore your parents or not even have them around, right? You know, which of course, like that's, that's pretty, that's pretty like destructive in general, you know? And so then you take that data point there, right? So, you know, we have the Machine Gun Kelly album. We have like High School Musical when we were younger. Um, and then you go even further back and you look at the term teenager itself, which was, I believe that like, I don't know, it came around in like the forties, basically, I don't know, 44, something like that, 1944 the term teenager like it first existed. And before that, you were either a child or you were an adult, right? It was kind of crazy to think about. But like, if you were like 13 years old or something, suddenly now you were an adult, like you were expected to act as an adult, you were treated as an adult, right? Um, and then the term teenager came around uh, just to, I think it was like a marketing term, basically. It's just like a marketing term to, to sell more products to, to young people, pretty much. So, so yeah. So, you know, you kind of take all that into account. And it's just mind-boggling how much time is wasted by everybody, you know. And you and I don't have to be that way. We don't have to waste our time, you know. We don't have to waste. It's like the one, it's the one resource that we don't get back, you know, is our time, right? So... Every single day, you know, we wake up, we have our, we have our plans, our days mapped out, right? Goals written down of what we want to accomplish. Um, and at the end of the day, I'll go back and I'll kind of reanalyze my day and I'll just kind of think about, okay, like, you know, this is what I got done. This is what I didn't get done. And I'll kind of map out my day, like in my mind a little bit and just be like, okay, well, here's where I wasted time, right? Here's where I could do better moving forward. All right. And so, and I think that, you know, since I've done that, like, things have been way, way, way better for me, for sure. As far as like reaching my goals and all that other stuff, you know, now, like I'm at the point now where I think I probably waste like 30 minutes a day, typically, just to kind of keep me sane. <laughs> I just kind of, I'll just kind of waste like 30 minutes a day. Um, just kind of having fun doing whatever, but, but it's awesome. So anyways, that's all for today. Uh, you know, build, I would just say like, like let's build our own culture, right? Uh, anyone that watches this at some point, just, uh, just build our own culture of productivity, right? Everything that they're putting out, um, by the, I mean like media, pop culture, whatever, right? Everything that they're putting out is just designed to, to get your money and to get you to waste time. Pretty much, you know, no matter how catchy or awesome it is, it's to get your money, get you to waste time. And, uh, so let's build a culture that doesn't, that doesn't do that. So anyways, 